you're getting ready to hitch up your camper and now you're starting to wonder if you have enough propane but there's no way to tell actually there may be and i'm going to share with you how in this episode of travels with delaney Welcome back, everyone. Before we get this week's episode started, I'd sure appreciate it if you haven't subscribed, if you'd hit that subscribe button and the little bell right beside of it so you get notified each time that we put out a new video. And if you want to stay up with us with real-time updates, you can follow us over on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts, or you can check out our all-new website, TravelsWithDelaney.com. All right, let's get started. So whenever we get ready to go camping, I always start wondering where we're at on propane. And so in the past, what I typically did was I would unconnect my tank and I would use a luggage scale to weigh the tank. And then I know what my tank weighs empty based upon your tank will be stamped with a tear weight on the side. So as long as you know what it weighs empty and what it weighs full, you can do some simple math and figure out where you are. But boy, that's sure a pain. So I wanted to find a way that I could know where we're at with propane. Now, I had in the past purchased one of those inline um, dials, and what I found was it wasn't real accurate. And so I really just didn't know where to turn. Well, my good friends Steve and Karen down in North Carolina sent us a gift uh, about a month ago, and this is what they sent us. And so I'm pretty sure Steve has tried this out himself and I know it's gonna work, but I wanted to share it with all of you. So we're gonna go ahead and install it today. So what I have here is I actually have a, um, it says it accurately measures your level of LP, never run out of fuel unexpectedly. Now this is made by a company called Mopeka Products and you can find this on Amazon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the link for this product in our Amazon store and I'm gonna put the link right there for you. You can go on over over and check out this product and all the other products that we recommend for RV. But it's really simple. The nice thing about this is it is Bluetooth. It will work with any smartphone, so you don't actually have to install a special um, sensor in your trailer or anything like that. All we have to do is install the sensor that came with it on the tank pair it with their app on our smartphone, and then we should know exactly where we're at with fuel. So I have no clue where my fuel tank is at, so this will be fun today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is go into our app store and just go ahead and search for the um, LPG tank detector, and you should find the Mopeka app. You're going to want to go ahead and download that onto the phone. Now, once it's downloaded, then you're going to open the app up. And before we get into the installation, the instructions state clearly that what we want to do is we want to sync our sensor with our smartphone. And what I found was in the syncing process, the instructions said to tap the sync button once, and I wasn't getting anything. So I went online and did a little research, and it says actually when it shows up, most likely it's in sleep mode from the factory. So it says tap it repeatedly at least six times. And so once I did that, I tapped it about seven times. All of a sudden then it found my sensor. So once you have that done, then actually the installation is really easy. So the way that this sensor works, and let's go ahead and just open this up. What you get in it is you get the instruction guide, but you get the actual sensor. And right there it is. Um, and you can get multiples on these. So if you have more than one propane tank, and on the back you're gonna see there's two magnets, and that's what's actually gonna hold it to your propane cylinder. And then in the center is the actual sensor. So that comes with it. They also give with you, the, in the kit, some little metal clips. So if your tank is gonna be sitting on the ground or on a flat surface, they recommend putting these on the bottom of your tank to raise your tank up, um, mainly so that the sensor can emit the Bluetooth signal more easily. Now, in our particular New Camp Tab 400, I put on recently the diamond plate bucket, and that actually has a solid surface. So we're gonna go ahead and install these clips quickly onto our propane tank. Um, but in a lot of our trailers and our old bucket that was on here, the plastic bucket, it actually had the open framing where your propane tank's at, and then I would not have needed to do that. And then finally, the last thing that comes in this kit is um, some dielectric um, liquid, and they recommend that when you get to the point of actually attaching it with the magnets, put a little of this on the sensor, that's gonna help to make a better connection. So that's how simple it's gonna be. Let's see if it really is that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to the bucket where our propane tank is.
All right, so the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and make sure my propane is shut off. And then we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the propane tanks from our trailer. Now, the reason we're gonna to have to do this is we have to get to the bottom of the tank to actually install the sensor. So we'll go ahead and loosen. If you have a mounting bracket, let's go ahead and loosen that up. And then we're just gonna pull the tank off. Now, we're actually gonna be installing it right here in the bottom and you want the sensor, it says, um, as close to center as you can possibly make it. It also recommends that you go ahead and clean the surface really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this surface off. Again, we wanna make a nice seal for the sensor. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and install those three metal clips. And all you have to do is really just kind of spread them out and they just push down, okay? Just like that. Hopefully you can see it there. There's one. I'm gonna try to put them spread out. They push down just a little hard, but they'll go on. Let's go ahead and get one over here. So now that we have our three feet placed on the tank, which is gonna help keep it off of that surface, I wanna go ahead and just kind of do a test run by placing the sensor here, and we want that center circle, that's the actual sensor, we wanna to try to get that as close as possible, it says, to the center. And you can see it just clips on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check on our app to see if it's actually reading. All right, so if we look at the app, we'll see that it's actually reading that there is 27% left in our tank. So our sensor is actually working now. So now the last step I really wanna do is I wanna go ahead and put a little bit of that dielectric liquid or gel on it just to make sure we have a good seal at that point. So I'm gonna go ahead, and again, it's not gonna take a lot here. So we just lift it up. And we'll go ahead and open our little packet that they give us. And the nice thing is there's plenty on here, so every time I take it off, I can reapply. I'm just gonna put a little bit right there on the center on that sensor. Okay. And again, I want to reapply this so that that sensor is as close to center here as possible. And again, all we have to do is let it touch down and the magnets will do it. And again, notice we've got our feet there that's going to help keep us off of this solid surface. Now this time, I want to make sure that I put my tank back in so that I can reattach it. And then all we have to do is reinstall. propane hose and then I'm going to refasten and we can go ahead and turn our propane back on there you have it it doesn't get much simpler than that now just a couple things to remember after you unconnect your propane tank and you reconnect it and turn it back on, you're gonna to wanna to go inside and open up, um, and what I usually suggest is use your stove top. Go ahead and open it up and light your stove and let it burn for 15 or 20 seconds just to get any air out of the line. That way then when you actually do go to use your trailer and maybe you fire up your water heater or your furnace, you won't end up having an issue where it won't light because there's air in the line. But other than that, this is gonna be a great way to know where we're actually at specifically with our propane tank. So you don't have to ever run out again when you go camping. All right, a big thank you to Steve and Karen down in North Carolina for sending that to us. If you wanna find it, like I said, go over to our Amazon shop and you'll find the link for it. And until next time, everybody, we'll see ya on down the road. Good night.